welcome to educational channel so in three dimensional geometrical shapes so i'll explain you in this video about cuboid now see the diagram here this can call cuboid or you can call it as a rectangular prism also rectangular prism or cuboid so first of all this video i'll explain you the properties and formulas which are related to this cuboid so let's see some uh, diagrams here the shape of cuboid now this is a wooden cuboid or rectangular prism also now in this one length breadth and height so here length this is length and this is breadth and this height so if you keep the cuboid in this shape so length and breadth now this is the height same cuboid if you can place in this way and this is length and breadth and this will be height so two type of cuboids i'll show here if you observe in this cuboid length and breadth is same height is different and this one more cuboid here length breadth height three are different so if lbh length breadth height are three are same only you can call cube if any one is different also is nothing but rectangular prism or cuboid and glass cuboids i'll show you this one is a glass one there are total of four plus two total overall six faces here now same like your cube only as explained previous now in this this is one top surface and this is a back and surrounding there are four total four are there four plus two four are six faces now observe the diagram here if you take the values for values now here for example this is length and this is the breadth and height so length and breadth and height so if look okay, observe this one length breadth and this is the height now there are three dimensionals so for this cuboid first of all we'll find out number of faces and number of edges at the same time number of vertex vertices this uh, three we'll find out so observe this so number of faces already we learn front one and back one right two and four sides one two three and four to total six so there are total six faces so one two three four five and six base and number of uh, edges so observe the edges also it's very easy in a glass if you observe so front one and back so this side four four edges one two three four down one top one and four sides four similarly back side also four edges one two three four total four plus four plus four total twelve so twelve edges now you have to do this in diagram also red color one two three four and blue is four and green also four total eight are there now this uh, uh, four plus four plus four so twelve so number of edges is twelve now vertices vertices is nothing but three edges where they join that is nothing but vertex so here one and two three and four similarly one two three four just only four plus four so eight okay vertex now vertices the corners nothing but they're all eight are there now we will see the formulas about this cuboid when you observe first one lateral surface area so lateral surface area is nothing but perimeter of the base into height so if you want to find out the lateral surface so these four sides areas i need to find out so easy method is for any uh, prisms perimeter of the base into height if you multiply lateral surface area will come so perimeter of the base for example i am holding my uh, cuboid like this now this is the base for this base length and this is breadth now observe this now this is the base for this base i need to find out the perimeter first now this base is nothing but a uh, rectangular shape right so we know perimeter of rectangular form that is two length and two breadth that is uh, perimeter if you find out 2n plus 2b take two common 2 into n plus b 
there is a perimeter of rectangle now perimeter of this base so perimeter of the rectangle into length of the height so simple that is a lateral surface area so 2 into l plus b that is a perimeter of the base you should multiply with the perimeter of the base into height you should do so height is h that's it so 2 into l plus b into h so you can simplify like this 2h l plus b that is lateral surface area now total surface if you want total surface area down one base area and top are same and this side and this side is same this edge is also same so total three ways are there so first we need to find out area of the base into two the area of the top will come now area of this front and into two means back also covered and this sides now observe the diagram also length into breadth l into b is down same l into b on top also so length into again breadth right l into b l into b so this down and top is covered now this sides this side means this is b into h and b into h observe diagram base into height is this side and one more base into height is this side down and top also covered now either sides that is height into again l now this is height and this is the length so length into height is uh, hl hl is this side and same hl is this side also now just simplify that is lb that is 2lb plus bh bh is 2bh plus hl hl is 2hl so if you take two common take two common lb plus bh plus hl that is the total surface area of the cuboid now simple now diagonal so before diagonal you see the volume also volume is l into b into h because area of the base always volume is denoted as area of the base into height okay area of the base is rectangle length into breadth is area of the rectangle now area of the base into height is nothing but volume because total space is occupied so length into breadth is area of the base into height so lbh is volume of the now we'll come diagonal square root of l square plus b square plus h square this is the diagonal of the cuboid. Diagonal means the longest stick or longest pole can be placed inside. If you observe this glass one, from one corner to next two. So these two fingers should be attached. From this corner to next surface down. Down should be. This is the longest diagonal. That means from for example if you take from that side, you have to another side. Down, another corner, another corner. Not in the same side corner. Uh, one more corner is you know they should join that is the longest that is the formula is square root of l square plus b square plus h square because root l square plus b square is only diagonal of the rectangle so diagonal of rectangle already you learn plus extra h square so root l square plus b square plus h square is for diagonal of the cuboid okay these are the properties and formulas will apply finding the cube oh sorry cuboid so cube already same same cube properties will apply Number of uh, faces, edges, vertices as it is cube and cuboid. So both are same and formulas only we can apply in this uh, problems. Any problems related to this cuboid you can apply straight away formulas and to find the answers is easy.